Hi there, it's Ben again. If you've been following along on the first steps of the, of the grid here with the Burpore medium oak arms, wooden arms, we're going to be moving on to step three. We covered step one, A, and step two in the first video. Step three is going to be attaching the stretcher rails to the arms. For this, you're going to need to take the longest bolt, which is the letter R part. You're going to stick them through the holes on the arm. Simply take the stretcher rail with the bolts on the T-connectors facing in so they're not seen on the outside. Simply just screw these right into the stretch rails. You're going to do the same for the back side here. Again, with the side rails, T connectors facing in with the bolts so they're not seen from the outside. Put your bolts through the holes on the arm and screw them into the slots that are already into the stretcher rails. Again. again, this may take you longer with the wrench. If you do have a drill, you can use it. Alright, now we're going to move to the other side. Same procedure here, you're going to take your two longest bolts, letter R, put them through the outside of the arm. And always remember when you're doing this, make sure that you have the arms opposite each other where the hinge is going to be toward the back side. I started with the left arm, now I'm working to the right arm. The left and the right may be confusing. The left and the right is going to be from how you're looking at the futon from, from, from forward position. It's not as you sit. So do not get confused by that. Same for the back side. So we're almost done here. Sitting in the main frame of our futon. Now we're going to move on to step number four. Following through your instructions like this. Step number four is to assemble the seat in the back sections, which are the two parts of the grid that come with the futon. Now there's going to be a difference between the front, the back, and the seat. This would be the back because it does not have holes for the mattress retainers. I'll show you what those look like right here. On one of the frames of the futon, there's going to be four holes. This indicates that it's the seat where the retainers for the mattress will go. Now these are very easy to assemble. Just unfold them like this. Gotta grab the screws here quick. You're going to be taking your shortest bolts that you have. Two of the very short bolts. And these are going to go right into the hole where these hinge piece comes together. Let's get that started in there. Alright, now the same goes for the back. 
simply unfold the grid, make sure it's in place, and then again find the hole where the screw will go in. And tighten that down. All right, now that concludes the assembly of the back in the seat and also the main frame of your futon. In the next video, we're going to show you how to attach the back and the seat to the hinges.